Hey Cornelius, I just got finished putting up the Halloween decorations. You know, we all know by now that one of my favorite things is Halloween. My other probably most favorite thing ever is X-Men. But how do we combine the two? Well, I say we just hope for the best. X-Men Armor Wars? Oh, this is a nostalgia video. I've been waiting decades to open these up. I say, let's dig in. Welcome to Z's Toy Box. I'm Z, this is Cornelius, and we're bringing you another episode for Halloween. So, I needed a spooky toy. So, I found X-Men Armor Wars by Toy Biz. These came out all the way back in 97. We're gonna pretend it wasn't that long ago. Toy Biz was kind of known for making bizarre, gimmicky kind of X-Men figures. And this series contained five different figures and even had like a backstory of Mr. Sinister mutating all the X-Men. But the general idea is a bunch of cool X-Men that come with random monstrous body parts that you can turn them into random monsters. Let's open them up. I guess we'll start with Cyclops. And yes, I am getting these out of the packaging because they're really not worth that much because I just bought them. And these were something I always wanted. Like these will be a legit Halloween decoration and a collectible that's put up in this room somewhere. So each pack, you get your main figure and a bunch of accessory appendages. So here we have good old classic 90s Cyclops and not a whole lot of posability legs, arms, head, waist, but something that you must see up close is this face. This is the face of true and utter terror. Cyclops has seen some stuff. Yeah. So it's only fitting that he turns into some sort of cycloptic monster. So let's give this a try. Everything just appears to kind of snap into place. Oh God, this is... Looking at the detail of what he turns into, it's like muscle, bone, and tendon. It's actually kind of disturbing. This is actually some nightmare fuel. As you can see, it turns into this one-eyed monster. <clears throat> um, but yeah, if you look close, everything is this weird, just meat and bone yuck kind of disturbing. Now the other one I purchased was Rogue. What's interesting with this was um, back in the 90s after if any X-Men fans there was the Age of Apocalypse storyline and they released I believe it was a wave of five Age of Apocalypse figures but then throughout the 90s they just kept releasing X-Men figures in different lines that were in Age of Apocalypse costumes. This Rogue being one of them. So she's not in her classic costume, she's in her Age of Apocalypse costume. Says, oh my god. So again, her head doesn't even move, but arms and legs. Her waist doesn't move either. But again, the face. This is, you see this face coming at you, you run. So what I kind of like is like, okay, Cyclops turned into Cyclops, Rogue turns into I assume some sort of vampire bat creature, which works with her powers. They're kind of vampiric. I I get what you were going for, Toy Biz. Oh, good lord. Snap. Oh, that one doesn't snap as well. And here you have a strange green vampire bat rogue. Oh, no. These are awesome. X-Men that you can dress up for Halloween. Overall, I, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't have these 20 some years ago. These are really cool. I am excited. There are three more, Mr. Sinister, Mystique, and Wolverine. Maybe that'll be for next year's Halloween. We could just each year until I complete the Monster Wars collection. I love these. And these are going to be part of my Halloween decorations, I think. So I'm kind of excited to go put them downstairs with the decorations. Even the X-Men are ready for Halloween. 
I like it. Well, thanks for joining us on this spooky and monstrous episode. And make sure you tune in next time for more random finds, random mysteries, and who knows what else. Mutants that mutate even further. And have faces that are almost as scary. Yeah, I think that face is scarier than the mask you put on. That's the thing. Thanks for watching. Bye! Cue X-Men theme outro. Only I could play that without getting in trouble. Happy Halloween! Oh no. His meat boot fell off. Yeah, meat boot. That was a thing that just got said. And here you have Age of Apocalypse Rogue and classic 90s Cyclops. Two action figures with the most disturbing faces I've ever seen in plastic. And now we have Cyclops as a Cyclops in his meat suit. You know, before any pop stars did it, Cyclops did it first. And Rogue as a giant green vampire bat monster. I love these so much.